So a lot of people after this Oscar Valdez and Shakur fight, people are asking the question, when is Shakur and Tank Davis ever going to fight? You know, back in the day, Shakur and Tank had a lot of words, man. You seen them trading shots at each other, calling each other names, you pussy, all kind of shit. That's a Newark, Baltimore thing, man. You know, it's always going to be there. These two dudes come from some of the roughest cities. You know, so, you know, you know, they got dog in them. They just come from the grit. So, given the performance that Shakur put on, now many people are starting to ask the question, okay, how would Shakur do against Tank? I'm not sure if I touched on that on this channel. I may have made an earlier video on that. I'm not sure, but I think pretty much it would end up like, this it's just simple it's really that simple in order for that fight to for tank to win that fight tank will have to knock Shakur out otherwise Shakur is going to outbox him he's not going to outbox Shakur I don't think he outboxes him it's going to have to be tank knocking out Shakur that's the only way I think that fight plays out yeah that fight only plays out one um one or two ways Shakur by decision Tank by stoppage. That's it. I mean, you got a master boxer in Shakur. Tank has great boxing skills as well. Tank defense, though, you know, um, why I say Shakur might end up outboxing them, because I think Shakur moves much better than Tank. Um, Tank was getting touched, man, by Leo Santa Cruz. He was getting touched by uh, Gamboa was even touching him, man. Gamboa. And so was, um, if you look at his face against Gamboa, it looked like he was swollen in his eye, I believe. Leo Santa Cruz definitely pieced up Tank. And then Mario Barrios was giving Tank some business, man. So Shakur was a better boxer than all those three dudes. So Shakur would easily, to me, outbox Tank, man. If he was getting hit that much with Gamboa, and, you know, some people say, well, Tank, the reason he was getting hit that much because he wanted to get hit. He he knew what he could take from them. He could take those dudes' power or whatever it is. I don't believe that to be the case with Tank, man. If you don't, if you don't want to get hit, you ain't gonna get hit. You know, nobody's just electing to get punched in the face unless you like a uh Adam Kalnaski or somebody like that. You know what I mean? It's very few boxers that just want to do that. You know what I mean? But my thing is. That is how you know it's it's really that simple with these two dudes. You you see how Tank Tank is a is a he has good defense to a certain extent, good great he has great power, he has good footwork too. He has boxing skill. He showed that with Isak Cruz. He showed that in some other fights too, but definitely in the Isak Cruz fight. Shakur, on the other hand, you know he's not much of a power puncher as of yet. He definitely has the defense, and he definitely has the boxing skills, the outboxing skills over Tank. So, and he's he's taller than Tank. So, you know, that will be a great fight. Shakur is going to have to be a little bit more defensively responsible than he was against Oscar Valdez. Tank, as well, is going to have to be more defensively responsible than he has been in his last few fights. He cannot let Shakur piece him up like that. Because I'm telling you now, his power is resonating. And I'm not sure if we're going to have the same KO power as Tank, but his power is coming. And... His face, if he let uh, Shakur beat him up like that, like he was letting, like he was getting hit by Barrios, Santa Cruz, and Gamboa, his face is going to look like Valdez's face. And I'm not saying, I the, I wouldn't even put it past him to stop Tank. It, it might be a tall order to stop Tank. I think Tank has a serious chin, but it's, it's, it's kind of just like the Bud and Arrow fight. They both have things they have to be very concerned about with each other. That is going to be another mega fight down, down the road. You know, all these mega fights that's like right there that's coming, you know. But he's going to have to be very defensive. Both of them are going to have to be defensively, more defensively responsible than they were in their previous fights. But to sum it up again, um, I'm not here to give a, I don't, I can't give a, a prediction really on that fight right now. But all I can say is, it's going to come down to them two things. It's either going to be Tank by knockout or Shakur by decision. 
It's really that simple. It's, it's going to tank for Shakur to outbox Tank, which he can. And it's going to take for Tank to knock out Shakur to beat him, which he definitely can. So I want to get you guys' opinion on this. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about a fight between Javante Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson and how it would look. It's Rebel Life. I'll catch y'all on the next one. And I'm off this. Peace.